What is going on my Ab Tribe? Oh my goodness, I do apologize for not uploading any content on my day off, which basically wasn't a day off because I still had things to do. And I went over to a girlfriend's house to help them set up their gazebo. And thank God I went over there because honey, I was introduced to this show called Love at the Lockup. <laughs> Bitch. That is my new jam, okay? Love at the Lockup brought back so many memories in regard to myself because I used to write dudes in prison, my molester being one of them. But I used to write dudes in prison. And these women are so gullible and so naive and they have been so love bombed and they have been so taken by these narcissists that are locked up behind bars that they don't see the real them for what it is and um yes i used to write um uh, plenty of dudes uh, uh uh behind bars remember back in the days where they had newspapers and they had ads back in um like in the back of the okay let me rephrase that remember back in the days they had newspapers and then more towards the back of the newspaper or towards the end of the newspaper they had ads and um, um pay, uh, pen pals and stuff like that well a lot of prison guys uh were looking for pen pals and i would pen pal a lot of the guys that were locked up behind bars and um I, re I remember, uh, excuse me, I remember one scenario where myself and another drag queen slash transsexual, we were adolescents and we were friends at that particular time. Well, there were two guys that were locked up that were friends as well. And that ex-friend was talking to one friend and I was talking to another. And child, we had plans after they got out to live with each other and all type of shit. How that was gonna happen, I don't know because I was staying with my grandmother at that particular time and she damn sure was not about to have some damn prison stud stand with me. So that was out the question. And I damn sure wasn't looking for my own apartment at that particular time. So uh, child, I, I, I was selling um, uh, whoop tickets just as well as the, what the fuck they were. But anyway, I remember that they got upset with me because I wouldn't give them any money. I wouldn't put anything uh, like uh, give them contraband like radios and shit like that. Uh, 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 what else did they want? Uh, money for food, probably money for drugs. Um, but my thing is, who, who, who the fuck got you in prison? I wasn't in your life when you went to prison. So therefore, don't get upset with me because I'm not coming off my money to help you out. Uh, figure that out. I don't give a fuck if I call myself holding it down for you or not. Now that's one thing I did do. That, that's one boundary that I did set back in the motherfucking days. I was not coming off no money and I had plenty of it because I was staying with my grandmother and had minimum bills to pay. So I could have tricked off, but I didn't do that. So I was not gullible in that aspect. But um, I'm trying to think, did I ever send any of the motherfuckers anything? I don't think I did, aside from letters and spraying some perfume on the motherfuckers. But child, they sent me letters. They had nut on them letters. Um, they did have nut on them letters. Child, I used to get letters and they would stick together because it would be all type of cream on them, dried up, of course. But yes, honey, they would masturbate and all type of motherfuckers shouldn't send me letters. But yes, honey, so I, and my friend at that time were supposed to have a future with these particular inmates uh, that were getting out of the joint soon. I believe they were stationed in Texas. We were in, in, uh, living in Illinois. Um, how I was going to pick this man up, I don't know because I didn't even have a car at that particular time. Um, I think they were supposed to have came to us on a bus. But if I would have been thinking, now I was gullible in this aspect because that bus is not going to drive y'all motherfucking asses from Texas all the way to Illinois to be with somebody. They gonna drop your ass off around the corner some damn where and that's gonna be it. And um, so anyway, uh, we, child, what, were we supposed to have dogs? We were, child, we, we were supposed to have a life with each other when this man got out of prison. Hold on, child when that man got out of prison. We were supposed to be living with each other. We were supposed to be making love. We were supposed to be doing all type of shit. We were supposed to be the next Beyonce and Jay-Z. 
So anyway, long story short, when the motherfucker got out of the joint, I didn't even know that they was out the joint. And I'm writing letters and shit, and the letters being sent back to me. Oh, wait a minute now. What's going on with this picture? Um, I've been sending you letters, and you've been accepting the motherfuckers. And you've been writing me and, 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 and putting nothing on letters and all this type of shit. And telling, you, telling me you love me, you want to be with me when you get out and all this whole type of bullshit. Running game like narcissists do. And um, now that you're out, you don't even know a bitch. So they probably were writing other motherfuckers. Well, shit baby anyway so i wasn't with the individuals the individuals wasn't with me all the bullshit that we talked about via letters never did come to uh, come to fruition all it, all of it was game um these women i feel and men that are in love with these individuals that are locked up i feel so bad for them i almost got in tears in regard to the one man that's in love with this beautiful beautiful uh uh, uh ex-con um you know whether she loves him or not i don't know i i don't see it because i hate to say it she's she's too beautiful to be with somebody like him um uh, 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 unless she's using him and uh, a baby did y'all see the episode where old girl now now we're talking about people of uh, uh we're talking about melanin now now she went to go pick her man up now this woman she working hard to provide a place for this motherfucker when he gets out he, this unappreciative bitch now she brings him back to her place and they walk inside, he looking around and shit. So they get to the kitchen. And so he asked her, when was the last time you cooked? And so she was like, basically, you know, yesterday or whatever the case may be. And he gonna tell her, well, you should have cleaned up the stove. You you coming out of prison coming to my house telling me how to run my shit and then she had some clothes i guess that needed to be washed so he asked her when did she last wash laundry and she gave him an answer and he was like well you should have did a load i guess basically before he came over there This is Sweet Peach, by the way. I need to tell y'all about Sweet Peach, but I'm so in. Back to love at the line. You ungrateful ass black bitch. Excuse my French. I have worked my motherfucking ass off to provide not only for my damn self, but for your bitch ass, because I've been holding it down for you for, how, how many years did she wait on him? I think 11 years, 11 years, and she, well, I don't think she was faithful. No, neither one of the motherfuckers was faithful during that particular time, but I held it down for you for all this time, and considering what you have going on behind bars, and considering what you have going on right motherfucking now, you want to shade me and tell uh, if i don't want to clean my y'all should see my stove right now he would shit we probably would have been hooking because my stove is a hot motherfucking mess and it's going to remain that way until i clean it and whenever i just whenever i decide to clean the motherfucker just put it that way and uh my thing is this is your utopia now um so if there is something that you don't too much care for well first of all don't come in my place trying to run it uh, uh, uh we can agree to disagree so if there's something that you don't care for and i will allow you to make some uh, subtle changes then why don't you t clean the motherfucking stove up you're gonna be cooking on it any motherfucking way because i'm not gonna be in that kitchen cooking for your motherfucking ass all the damn time so and 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 and, 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 and regarding laundry if you don't baby but you know what 
she held herself down. She kept her, she, she had boundaries and she stood firm in regard to her boundaries. And she told him because, uh, you know, they was both getting loud with each other. And he was, uh, he's he gonna tell her, don't, don't get loud with me or some bullshit like that. Uh, uh, was that the part, was that the part where uh, she told him that basically we'll be throwing down because he was saying something, uh, something to her and he basically was telling her to pipe down, calm down. And she wasn't, she wasn't trying to calm down. And he said something, he was, uh, something was said and she was like, he was like, oh what? And she said, what? and she told his motherfucking ass, we will be throwing down up in this motherfucker. And she wasn't playing. And I can't blame her because I mean, for one, you've been locked up all this time. This is, like she said, a mansion compared to what the fuck you were living in. So for you to get out of prison and come into my place, this is still my place, regardless of if I allow you to stay with me or not. This is still my place. I, to tell me that I need to clean up. My girlfriend and I, we fell the fuck out laughing when he told her she need to clean that damn stove and wash them damn lines. And then, did y'all see the one part? I was supposed to be talking to y'all about when them motherfucking kids teased me in Vegas about just being man about it. When that, remember when Tony Braxton's song came out, Just Being Man About It? I was living as a woman at this particular time. And those kids, every time they see me, were kids and adolescents, every time they, every time they see me, they would always sing the chorus, Just Be a Man About It. They would sing it to me. And anyway, I'll get to that story another time. Love and lock up, bitch. Is where it is at so anyway um oh my god this oh y'all just need to watch love after lockup it is a motherfucking trip then this one girl she's so damn gullible now her man was locked up uh uh fuck him she was dating this dude prior to her dating this dude that's locked up uh, well, well, he out now. But anyway, her ex-boyfriend died tragically in a car accident. And um, that's traumatizing. And uh, she still had his photos, which she very well should. She still had his photos throughout her apartment. So, dude, her man, the, the same motherfucker that still got letters from bitches that he was writing while he was in motherfucking prison while talking to this bitch, um, gonna tell her after he gets out that she need to basically get rid of those pictures because by now she should be over it. Now y'all can already see the narcissistic pattern that's going on. First of all, the way that you control them queens in prison, you're not gonna come home and try to control me like that. Um, uh, I lost my ex-boyfriend and or girlfriend, whatever the case may be. I lost them in a tragic car accident. They died. I don't have them in my life anymore. How the fuck do you think I'm supposed to feel? And if I want their pictures out because of, I mean, I get what, I get what he's saying. But you should be a little bit more secure with your motherfucking self. A man that has passed away should not have you threatened. This man is no longer breathing God's free air. He's no longer breathing it anymore because he tragically passed away. And you are threatened by that? And you want her to get rid of her pit? But y'all need to watch Love app. They're locked up. That's y'all need to watch it. And then, mm, two dudes battling over this bitch, but they didn't know that either or was supposed to pick her up from the halfway house. Hold on. Baby, from the halfway house. <laughs> from the, I'm telling y'all, y'all need to watch this motherfucking show. So, the one dude 
who is a player his damn self and now you see how it feels because he he he, he has this girl that he's been dealing with for a while and they have a sexual relationship. Well, anyway, he fell for this bitch that's behind bars, but he's still having a sexual relationship with the other lady. Now that he fell in love with this bitch behind the bars, he wants to cut it off in regard to the sexual relationship with the other broad. Well, anyway, he got played the fuck out um, by the girl in prison because he held it down for this bitch for over five years if I'm not mistaken and she was talking to another dude that was liking her back in high school so anyway she had made plans for the dude that held it down for her for five years or so to pick her up from the halfway house in the meanwhile, she made plans with the dude in, uh, th 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 that she was uh, that, that was liking her in high school to come pick her up from the half. Baby, now y'all see where I'm going with this. Now y'all see why y'all need to watch the motherfucking show. Oh my goodness. So she made plans pretty much with both of them motherfuckers to come pick her up from the halfway house. But the dude that she uh, the, the dude that held it down for her for five something years, she basically was trying to keep aloofness in between that situation. She didn't want him to no longer pick her up no more. And, and, the, and the dudes are fine as fuck. I'm, they, both, they both got beards, they both got tats. She has the type. They both have tattoos. Uh, they are fine as fuck, honey. Um, but yes, so anyway, this bitch gets out the hat. No, no, okay. So anyway, the dude that held it down for her for five years, Baby, y'all need to watch Love at the Lockup. So the dude that held it down for her for five something years, he wanted to know what the fuck was going on. So his friends basically told him, you need to go to that halfway house and find out what's happening because now she don't want you to come pick her up anymore. Something's going on. So he took it upon himself to drive his ass to the halfway house to find out what was, you know, why she, to find out what's up. So anyway, in the meanwhile, here comes this big ass truck coming and pulling up uh, uh, somewhat next to dude. <laughs> this is, this is the dude, the, the dude that the, the, the pulled in and the, the dude that pulled in with the truck is the dude that was liking her from high school. So anyway, uh, uh, child, it's so much to this motherfucking show. It is. It, 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 it. I'm about to tear the walls down in this apartment trying to tell y'all about these uh, episodes that I've seen. So anyway, they both don't know that they are there to pick up the same motherfucking broad. Now this shady ass bitch, she gets out the halfway house. And so dude that was held, that held it down for her for five six years, his car was there first and then it was the truck. So he's standing outside, leaning on his car, you know, waiting for the time to go by. She comes out and, you know, her long hair, you know, she looking cute or whatever. And he was like, you know, hey, what's up? And so she was like, hi. And she kept on walking to the dude that uh, was liking her from high school or whatever the case may be. They probably both liked her from high school, if I'm not mistaken. But she, she, she had the nerve, she had the chutzpah to speak to the motherfucker and then kept it moving. And then the bitch went back inside and got her belongings. And instead of putting, putting, the, instead of putting her belongings in the car, of the dude that held it down for her for five something years. She put her shit in the back of the motherfucking truck of the other man's truck. Baby, baby. Baby, she played him shisty. Ooh, she played him. But it's what he get for playing that other lady because she wants to be with him. She, you know, she wants more than a sexual relationship with this man. But, uh, oh my God. But, oh, hold on, y'all. I, I, ooh, y'all see how excited I am about this show? Uh, but the way she just walked past him, my girlfriend and I, we laughed for everybody, okay? We were that loud when we were laughing because that shit was funny. 
That shit was hilarious. I mean, she walked past him like she she model strut past that motherfucker. Do you hear me? She didn't walk past him. She model strut past that motherfucker. And then, uh, so the two dudes ended up having words with each other because when the dude that held it down for her five something years, he it all came together. Oh, so now I see why you didn't want me to come pick your whole ass up because you sat up there and basically made plans with this motherfucker and so anyway they got into it and so the dude that held it down for her for five something years he's a lot shorter than the other dude but they both stocky than the motherfucker she should have had a sandwich you dumb bitch if you gonna hold like that you may as well took him home and just fuck both of them at the same damn time if that's the damn case but anyway ciao the one that held it down for five something years, he was uh, 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 getting somewhat punked by the other dude. And the other dude, you know, um, he did one of these numbers, but I don't think he touched him. So the dude that held it down for five something years, he was like, don't touch me, man. Don't touch me, bro. He was like, uh, cause I'll knock your pussy ass out. And so the other dude did something like some, mm, and dude must have reached back. Big, he's, Knock that motherfucker out. My girlfriend and I was a, oh my goodness. We were tripping. He, he told dude, I'm going to knock your ass out. Dude did not believe him. But when he hit that motherfucking concrete and his eyes was rolled back in his head, child, he hit that concrete extra hard. He got punched extra hard and he hit the concrete extra hard. That show, is, and then the bitch, oh, then she had the nerve to play the dude that uh, got knocked out. She played him. Okay, so after he came to, or whatever the case may be, um, he, you know, because the other dude, he left. The one that knocked, not, the, the <laughs> oh, the one that knocked out the dude, he ended up leaving. So anyway, dude came to, he came to. And so um, after he came to and came to his senses, senses or whatever. And, uh, and let me tell you, the bitch didn't even go over there. She didn't even take her ass over there to see if he was okay or not. This is how selfish this hoe is. She wasn't even concerned about him. She was more concerned about the dude that knocked the motherfucker out now. Now she's not, not, now she see how he is and she, that turns her on. That for one, they fighting over me. Well, they were, it wasn't no fight because dude got knocked the fuck out. But they fighting over me and she see, uh, she, that motherfucker knocked his ass out. And she see how, I guess in her eyes, how tough and how my cheesemo, the uh, old boy is that knocked, uh, anyway, she told the dude that got knocked out, well, you know, um, basically, I need to spend some time with myself so I can get myself together because I really don't know what I want to do now that I'm out and blah, 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 blah. And, uh, yes, 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 she did, yes, she did, yes, she did. I am not lying to y'all. Y'all, y'all need to watch the show. She told him that she need to spend some time with herself. She don't, she basically, she confused. Bitch, you was not that motherfucking confused when you were setting up them motherfucking rides. I can tell you that you weren't that damn confused. So anyway, oh, anyway, um, the dude ended up getting in his truck I felt so bad for him because he in the truck crying and shit because he he liked this bitch since high school. I mean, he was into her. He really liked this girl. He got knocked off for this bitch. And so for her to play him the way that the way that she played both of them. And so anyway, after dude left, the one that got knocked out, she gets on the phone and she called the dude that knocked the motherfucker out. And she gonna talk about some, oh, I'm sorry, blah, blah. Uh, now, talk about narcissist. She switched that whole motherfucking scenario around, honey, and made it work for her. And so she was like, you know, I I'm sorry. I, you know, I, I seen how you were fighting for me and blah, 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 blah. And, you know, I was just confused. And, you know, can you come pick me up? Yeah. Let me 
I'm going to throw this motherfucking coffee in. She asked him, can you come pick me up? Pick you up from where? The halfway house? That's where the fuck I came to pick your ass up in, to, to begin with, bitch. And you sat up there and played me for the other motherfucking dude. But now, all of a sudden, you won't. Now you see that your friend got knocked out and he, and he, uh, he, he's just not what you thought he was going to be. And you see that I am the alpha, no, the, 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 the stigma. Fuck the alpha male. Now you see that I am the alpha male. I mean the, the, the stigma male and uh, stigma male. And now all of a sudden you wants to, uh, baby, it, 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 do y'all think he came to pick her up or not? Comment below and let me know if y'all think that he can. <laughs> baby, if y'all have watched this particular show, Please comment below and let me know what y'all think about it. And if y'all seen these particular episodes that I am talking about, please comment below and let me know what y'all do got knocked out. And then the way that she models her, I want to talk to y'all about all of that. How she walked past him. Uh, but comment below and let me know if y'all think that he went back and picked this bitch up or not. Anyway, I was supposed to have been talking to y'all about what happened to me in Vegas when Tony Braxton's song, Just Be A Man About It came out. Uh, I had to get dressed for work, so that's gonna have to hold off for another time, child. But in a nutshell, basically that song was um, a pun or a joke towards me because I was living as a woman. So just be a man about it. Basically they were just saying, get out the women's clothes and just be a man about it and just wear you. Child, I could have, this is, this is the type of slap that I could have done to them damn kids. I just could have just backhand slapped the, fuck them damn kids and, and, and they mammy and they pappy and whoever else was in that, uh, in, in on that joke. Love after lock up. Uh, I'm also supposed to be telling y'all about Sweet Peach because I switched um, uh, cartridges. Uh, Sweet Peach is a hybrid. Um, hold on. Sweet Peach is a hybrid. It's 500 milligram. It is, uh, the THC is 82.51%. There is no THCA. There is no CBD. <laughs> and there is no CBDA. So anyway, I will find some more information out in regard to Sweet Peach and I will put y'all up on game. But I'm putting y'all up on game in regard to Love After Lockup. Y'all need to watch this show. Now, I, th I don't think it's a free show. I think you have to pay for it. I think it's free off of Amazon or, I mean, not free. Um, um, it's child, it's, uh, I, I, I don't even know the, I, I don't even know the network. Uh, I'm sorry, you guys. I just know the name of the show. I know that it's ratchet as fuck. I know that it, it, it's good. Uh, uh, them bitches, they, they was getting fucked. Do y'all hear me? Them, them men was getting out of prison. They was fucking them hoes. Um, the bitch got fucked in a, uh, a cemetery. Uh, and I, I can't talk because I, I, I did some things in the cemetery too. I disrespected the dead as well. So um, I know that I will be punished for that. But um, oh my God, what time is it? Hold on y'all. It's 11.13. So I need to get dressed for work. I said that. I, oh my God. What else did I see that, uh, 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 for love after love? Did y'all see the part where the dude, uh, her storyline was whack. That's why they didn't show her too much. I can't even think of her name. But uh, she was best friends with the dude's mother that's locked up. And now they're no longer best friends anymore because she dated her son. That, you know. But anyway, did y'all see how he wiped his mouth when she gave him that old sloppy ass kiss? My girlfriend and I, we fell out laughing when we seen that motherfucking shit. Baby, this show is the new jam, okay? So 
y'all need to watch Love at the Lockup. All right, I'm going to go remind me, you guys. Please click subscribe, like, com let me do that all over again. Please click subscribe, like, comment, and or share my videos if any of this resonates with you or possibly someone else. And please don't forget to comment below and let me know if y'all have seen Love at the Lockup. And if y'all seen these particular episodes that I am mentioning, please talk to me about when dude told her that she need to wipe that damn stove. And please talk to me about when he told her that she need to wipe, uh, that, that, that she need to do, that she need to do laundry. Um, let's talk about the hoe um, that got out the halfway house and model strip path. We gonna talk about all that. We gonna talk about all of this, you guys. Comment below. I promise you guys, I will try to get back to y'all in regards to the show. All right, namaste.